Hello. Happy Friday the 13th. You know, some people say today is bad luck, bad luck. So I want to talk about that. Talk about superstition. I don't know how you sign that, but it's a false belief. What does superstition mean? That there's some power, some good luck, luck, some bad luck, something out there controlling the world. If you do the wrong thing, bad things will happen to you. For example, years ago people believed you can't walk under a ladder. So if there's a ladder leaning up against the wall, you walk under it, don't. Bad will happen to you. Or if a black cat walks in front of you, bad luck, bad luck. Or if you accidentally knock over the salt and salt spills, bad luck for you. Quick, grab some and throw it over your shoulder. That will blind the devil sitting there. Or if a mirror you break, seven years of bad luck for you. Those ideas, those beliefs mean, they show what? That you think that the devil or a demon rules you. Or that there's some spirit, some power in the world that if you do the wrong thing, that spirit will take advantage and cause bad things to happen to you. The devil does not control your future. The devil does not make bad things happen like that to you. Many people in the world think that. But what does the Bible say? Well, first, are there evil powers in the world? Try to mess up your life? Yes, that is true. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 says, <coughs> Our fight is not against people. Our fight is against the rulers, the authorities, the powers in this dark world. Our fight is against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly world. The Bible says that. There are evil powers fighting against you. Martin Luther said that our enemies are the devil, the world, and our sinful self. The devil and his demon angels hate you and fight against you. So that is true. But now, the devil causes bad luck? I wouldn't say that. The devil wants to steal you from Jesus. You belong to Jesus. The devil hates that. He wants to take you away from Jesus. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 says, Be watchful. Control yourselves. Your enemy, the devil, is like a roaring lion. He prowls around looking for someone to devour. The devil wants you to go to hell, not heaven. So the devil focuses on little things that don't matter, like good luck, bad luck? No, not true. But if the devil can make you afraid of bad luck, then you worry about bad things happening and you forget Jesus. The devil wants you afraid because if you are afraid, you're not trusting Jesus. So understand, the devil, honestly, the devil doesn't care about good luck, bad luck. The devil wants you afraid. That is his goal. So, reject his ways, trust Jesus, remember him, don't be afraid. 
Third, you don't have to be afraid. Why? Because he takes care of you. Who do you belong to? Who runs the world? Ephesians chapter 1, verses 20 to 22 says, God raised Christ from the dead, and God seated Jesus at his right hand in the heavenly kingdom. There Christ sits far above all here who rule and have authority. He sits far above all powers and kings. He is above every name that is in this world and in the future world. God put all things under Christ's rule. God appointed Jesus as the ruler over everything for the church. You belong to who? Jesus. Who runs the world? Jesus. So you don't need to fear because you are under him, not under the devil. Fourth, Colossians chapter 1 verses 15 to 17 says, The Son is the, the exact likeness of God who you can't see. The Son is first. He is over all creation. All things God the Father made all through Jesus. He made everything in heaven and on earth. He made everything that you can see, everything that you can't see. He made it all. All things the Father made through Jesus and for Jesus. Before he made any, anything, he was already there and he holds all things together. So again, that shows that Jesus rules, takes care of everything. <clears throat> all the world, all the universe under his control. So fear? No. Don't worry about anything. You don't need to fear bad luck, good luck, whatever. He is the boss. He rules everything. So, if you are worried and concerned about something, why, you trust luck? No. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 says, All your worries give to him. He cares for you. So, we do not trust luck or trust you know, chance happens. No. He is in control. Trust him. Bad things will happen in this world, in this life, yes, because the world has fallen apart. Sin ruined the world. And so this world, bad things happen, yes. But don't be afraid of that. Jesus already paid for your sin. He already forgives you. He makes you new, and he will make all things new. So we do not trust and hope in this world. We know a future world he will make new and perfect. That is our hope, and that is what we look forward to. So don't fear the devil. Jesus also defeated him. Trust in Jesus. Trust him to take care of you, not luck. Trust him. And then you can have a truly happy Friday the 13th. I'll see you next week. God bless you.